Budget Collector back again. We have Mooney, uh, Movie Maniacs, Wish Monster, Wish yeah. Master. Jesus Christ, am I speaking English? All right. It is a McFarlane toy. Um, I think this one's from 01, 02. I love this stuff from back then. This stuff looked great. Yeah, we ain't got a lot of articulation and all that. But for just getting a great kick-ass toy, you can't go wrong with some of this stuff. Their horror stuff was off the chain. All right, going right through it, you have a picture of the Dijin. Am I saying that right? Right there, you can see him. Great open if you weren't going to open it. But, of course, we're going to let him breathe, pull him out, get it in hand. I can't stand sitting there having it locked up for all eternity. We need to let this guy out of his box, out of his shell. What was it? His stone, right? He was trapped in his stone for the movies, right? Yeah. So um, we're going to get him out and see. Here are some other ones. You got Sarah Connor for Terminator 2. You got C-800 Exoskeleton or Endoskeleton, sorry. Tooth Fairy from Tooth Fairy. You know, I'm trying to collect all of them. We're going to keep it going. Hopefully this Sunday we're going to get some more. So let's tear right into this and see how it looks. All right. Ah. Okay. So we got this right here. Let's see. The Wishmaster. A um, little piece of paper showing you what it is. There we go. All different stuff from Spawn to Clive Barker's Tortured Souls to Alien and everything. Oh, look at that. Edward Scissorhand, 18 inch. Love to get that. This is from 2002, like I said. Great looking shit. Let's toss that right on out of the way. All right. Let's see. So, all this stuff that McFarlane used to do like I said has some great great sculpt um, yeah if you're nuts about articulation this might not be the product for you but me I care about what the hell it looks like I don't have enough time to always be playing with my toys a lot of times I'm just staring at them on a shelf and in doing so that means you know sculpt is what's mattering the paint is what's mattering all right, as you see me getting beat up by some twist ties, you know, I don't always win every fight, but hopefully this one I do. All right, one second, and I'll be... All right, so here he is out of the package. All the movie maniacs come with some kind of a uh, little display stand showing some of their artwork for either the movie or if it's a book or whatever. So this one right here comes like this as I toss him around. This is two pieces. Um, this is Movie Maniacs Wishmaster up there. Be careful what you wish for. And it shows the stone, the ruby, um, which is how he... Oh, God, this is so small. Which is how he uh, gets out into the world. I don't even know if we can see that it's so small. But it looks great. It looks just like in the movie. I'm very happy with that. Moving right along to the fig... Here he is, the Dijin. Um, wow, this one's got a little articulation more than some of the others. And it's very stiff because it's old. You're right, but. of course. Normally I'd put some heat to it, but I don't really have time right now, guys. So I'm not going to go crazy with moving the arms because this is a damn near 20 year old figure. But, when you break it. You right, I'm not going to buy another one this weekend because I might not even find one. But, you got some articulation there. A little bit of rotation here. Nothing at the ankles. Same thing on this side. Just a little bit. Just enough to make it so you could really stand them. But, look at that. That just looks freaking great. I'm loving the colors. There's about 10, 15 colors right in there alone. Just that little space. Look at all that. This figure looks amazing. The head looks great. Let's see, there should be some swivel, but right now it's not safe to turn. He has his little tentacles or whatever the hell you want to call them. His that he hair, has, well, but it moves. He controls it. His hair is alive. But look at that. That fucking cape is great. Um, so this is bone, right, in the movies? So he's got bone, then a cape, then another cape, and then there's his booty. 
Just in case you wanted Night to see his booty. booty. Shaking that booty. But seriously, visual, visually looks great. I, I am loving this. This is going to look amazing on my horror shelf. Um, I had to have them as soon as I saw them. And uh, what did I pay? I think I paid... I think it was 10, 10, 15 bucks. I think it was 10 bucks. You know, yeah, the package was a little destroyed. Whatever. Who cares? I take them out of the goddamn package. I let them breathe. I, I want them to be back into the world. We like to toss them around. Right. You know, exactly. You see me. I, I be tossing these toys like it's my job. And let's see. There's a stone. I don't even know if he could hold it. Let me see. I'm sure somehow he could hold his stone. If not, yeah, good there enough. Go. There it is. Looks great. What do you guys think? Should I keep collecting this line? Bringing it to you as I do. Um, we have the Blair Witch product project uh, that we just opened. I didn't do it on camera because the package was so destroyed, but we will do a quick review over it. And uh, what's the other one? The Thing. Oh, The Thing. Yeah, I love that one. So we'll bring you those in the next week or so. Um, man, make sure you let me know what you think of these. You know, yeah, it's a day late and a dollar short for horror stuff, but in my life, horror is every day. It ain't just the holiday. Man, Christmas is horror to me. We're going to bring it to you. Look at all that, man. I really hope that's coming through. This thing is stunning. I'll, I'll get some pictures for Instagram in the next day or so. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe to Budget Collector. It's going to keep bringing you stuff that Collector Crew is growing every day. Here you go. She's showing you what, what it is. Um, seriously, help me get to a thousand. Once we get to a thousand, you'll see. I'll start bringing so many more toys to you guys. It'll really be worth it. Don't forget, I'm going to start doing more giveaways as I grow. I became stagnant. Uh, too much work, not enough fun. It's time to fix that and get a hell of a lot more fun. Maybe a little less work. Everybody, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Go collect some figs.